previously on the Random Review Show. Science has chosen you for a little experiment. I'm on the run. That's why I'm not. You will have to do the show without me. I'll, I'll, I'll film some remote sections and send them in to you. And now the continuation. Today we're going to look at smartphones and specifically the HTC Legends. We're going to compare it to the current market leader. For comparison we'll take the TR5160 model. It was released in 2361 and is currently available without contract for the low, low price of money is meaningless in the future. The HTC Legend is a lower-end smartphone running the Google Android 2.2 operating system. It was released in 2010 and you can currently pick it up for about $300 to $400 without a contract. So, can the HTC Legend match up against Starfleet's own popular brand? Well, we're here to find out. Round 1. Gravity. Gravity. Gravity detected. Well done, Tom. Now could you please use some science? Freefall is the term used to express something moving purely under the force of gravity, with no other forces, such as a hand, or a well-placed elephant sneeze acting upon it. <laughs> when an object, such as a phone, moves under free fall, it means that all its atoms move at the same rate. This means, as far as the internal sensor is concerned, it's having a weightless party, and the resulting reading on the device is thus zero. Okay, that sounded like science, but what does this mean? Gravity detected. Hold on. If gravity is so easy to detect, wow, I must find loads of examples on my extensive TNG library. Accessing available imagery. Searching. Not found. That's strange. I can't see any trace of them trying to detect gravity. I guess the HTC wins by default. Round 2 With umbrella technology, along with seatbelts, being lost after the eugenics war of 1993, the Tricorder promotional team has always need to keep up to date with the latest weather in their surrounding. What the hell is going on? There appears to be a condensed suspension of water vapor, approximately one degree Celsius. Fog. It just sort of rolled in on us, sir. Fortunately, the Tricorder seems very capable of this. But what about the HTC Legends? Round 3. Temporal Anomalies
Round 4. Universal Translator. Because we can't all be expected to learn World 5 languages, which, in case you've forgotten, are of course English, Dutch, American English, Smurf, and a favorite, Other. Most of us therefore have long sought after Universal Translator. Now let's see how the HTC pulls us off. The HTC makes a fair stab at this before it gets distracted near the end. Now what about the tricorder? There must be here somewhere. Okay, I'll have to tape this quickly because I, I think the fans will otherwise come after me, you know. But I've been watching TNG episodes for like... And there is no evidence that there's a translator on the tricorder. I know, I know, but shit, they found me! Round 5 Life Signs some of the most popular apps on the tricorder were to detect life signs. What life signs are, uh, we're not too sure. But they seem to be everywhere, don't they? The life signs are life signs. The life signs life signs. Life signs life signs on the life signs. Life signs life signs. Life signs. That's life signs. Life signs. Life signs. Life signs. Life signs. Nothing yet, sir. Possible life signs. What do you mean possible? So, as we can see, the tricorder has a hard time not detecting life signs. But what about the HTC? Mm. Hmm, fails at long range detection. So, what about short range? So, the HTC is fine at detecting life signs, provided it's within 5 centimeters. I'll give it half a mark, that's around 50%. Round 6 Magnetic Fields. These strands appear to be biomagnetic. Variable flux, possibly organic in origin. So if you're the sort of person to find magnetic fields amusing, the tricorder has got you covered. But what about the HTC? Let's switch to the TomCam to find out. Enough, Tom. So the HTC is also good at amusing those sorts, people. Round 7. Interfacing. I've modified this tricorder to interface with the subspace generator. It should allow me to control the phase discrimination, assuming this is going to work at all. Some of the hacks released for the tricorder allow you to interface with other things. The HTC can do this without modification. See here as it communicates with... Windows?
weapon. One that might even give him enough power to destroy him. Someone doesn't care about weapons or power. He just cares about getting back to the Nexus. What's the Nexus? The energy ribbon that destroyed that ship was not just some random phenomena traveling through the universe. It's a doorway to another place that we call the Nexus. What's the Nexus? The energy ribbon that destroyed that ship it was not just some random phenomena traveling through the universe. It's a doorway to another place that we call the Nexus. What's the Nexus? The energy ribbon that destroyed that ship it was not just some random phenomena traveling through the universe. It's a doorway to another place that we call the Nexus. What's the Nexus? The energy ribbon that destroyed that ship.